What I've got here um, at the moment is just um, a flash project or flash animation project that um, I've worked on as one of my university assignments and it's just a really quick animation. I'll just quickly show you what the animation looks like by clicking on control and then test movie. What I'll do, I'll also just shrink this window so you can actually see what's going on. So it's just a really, really quick animation, you know, of um, like cat's eyes moving, things growing, text spinning, you know, like um, buttons flying in from um, probably the grey part of the stage, etc. So that's what the animation um, looks like. If I actually click on the timeline down here, if I double click on it, it shows you what's actually happening. So as you can see, there is um, quite a lot of layers. We've got like skip intro action, skip intro, and all the way down. Okay, so there's like heaps and heaps and heaps of layers. What you've got is, if a layer is higher up in the stack of layers, what that means is that this layer is gonna be the closest to your eye. So the skip intro actions layer, whatever objects in that layer is gonna be right at the top. It's gonna be sitting on top of the objects in skip intro, which in turn is gonna sit on top of the objects in you know in the layer of looking glass actions. So if you go all the way to the bottom, the bottom layer of the stack at the moment is the background mirror. Okay, so that is gonna be at the bottom. So you know that layer, everything, all the objects on here will sit on top of the background mirror. Okay, so what you can also see here are your frames. If I just drag it back to the beginning, you've got your frames here. Okay, and then what I've got here is this red bar. If I move this red bar, you're basically just running the animation like this. Okay, and I can go backwards so that you can sort of see what your animation you know, is going to turn out like when you're editing it in Flash. So what I'm doing now, just moving the red line back and forth to run the animation is called scrubbing the timeline, okay? All right, at the moment, um, like in the previous episode, if I right click on the stage and I click on document properties, I can see um, like the size, the dimensions of the stage and also how many frames per second. So at the moment, I've got 24 frames per second. That means that if I click on frame 24, and I know it's frame 24 because, um, no, it's frame 22, so 23, 24. It says frame 24, like down the bottom here. Let me get it back to frame 24. That means that from frame one to frame 24 is one second. And if I want to take it to frame 48, which is right here, this is two seconds of the animation. So if I just scrub the timeline so that I go all the way to the end, ooh, too far, too far, too far, okay, go all the way to the end, I've got 400 frames all together. So to work out how long your animation is going to go, 400 divided by 24 equals about like 16.66667 seconds. So about 16 to 17 seconds, that's how long the animation is um, going to last. So let's get back to the layers here. So as I said before, there is heaps and heaps and heaps of layers, and most animations will have loads of layers. Um, you've got names for each layer. So for example, if I just click on a new layer, I've got a layer 29. If I want to click on it, I can you know, name it whatever I want. So I can name it, you know, like, um, just say, more cats layer, okay? And then if you double click on these, you can change the names of the layers. So I would suggest when you make an animation, you know, like make the layer name something meaningful so that you know what it is going to be about when you, you know, when you quickly look at it. You've got also these tools here. So you've got the eye tool, which is show or hide layers. So for example, if I, um, at the moment I've got two layers hidden because they've got X's next to them. If I click on the cross, they will show them again. So if I want to hide the object, so for example, if I, um, show this layer, you can see I had a banner intro, okay? If I wanted to hide the layer, you can't see the banner intro anymore, and you can't see the Alice layer anymore. So you can sort of use this tool to hide and show your layers. You've also got a lock layer button as well. So if I clicked on like skip intro actions and I've locked it, 
That means that all the objects in that skip intro actions layer will be locked, so I can't accidentally move it, which is quite convenient. So if you're working on another layer that has objects sort of really close by to another layer, you can you know, lock the layer that you need to lock. And you've also got here the outlines layer, which if you click on it, will only show you the outlines of the object and not the whole thing. Okay, so if you look at here, uh, at the moment I'm on the more cats layer. It is highlighted in blue and I've also got a pencil icon next to it. Okay, that means that I'm currently editing that layer. If I select looking glass actions layer, the pencil will then move to that layer. This layer will be highlighted in blue. So that's, that way I will know that I'm editing that layer. Um, I've shown you how to just add layers before, so I can add layers by clicking on this button at the bottom to add a new layer, and if I want to delete that layer, I'll just make sure I have that layer selected, so at the moment layer 50, and I can just delete that button by clicking on the rubbish bin icon.